Jessica Simpson is on a journey of self-love. The actress turned 42 on July 10th and shared a special message on Instagram on Monday about patience and purpose. Quote, Oh, little Mrs. 42, look at you leaning into the moonbeams to recharge and radiate a purposeful, glowing heart. I am very proud of my faith, resilience, and strength over the last four decades. Everything in my life that has or hasn't happened yet makes turning 42 very exciting because I know what it takes personally to remain inside of determined patience. She captioned the post in part alongside a picture of her posing in front of the moon. She continued her moving post by telling fans that she is ready to be her own best friend. Quote, I know myself and I do love her very much. I know my purpose and I must say that ladies and gents, I am equipped to waltz within every dream I own confidently. I am humbled and honored to finally be my own best friend. Okay, 42, time to rock and roll. The businesswoman appeared to have a birthday filled with love. On her Instagram story, she shared pictures from her special night. She also shared an adorable photo of her eight-year-old son, Ace, dressed as a robot with a special message that read, to best mom in the world, mom from Ace, I love you so much. Jessica has three kids with her husband, Eric Johnson, 10-year-old Maxwell, Ace, and three-year-old Birdie. Throughout the years, she has been open about her journey to self-love. In November, she celebrated four years of sobriety, and in March, she explained why she decided to get sober. Quote, When I stopped drinking, it was because I had stopped hearing the voice I really trusted and I was lost without her. She told Entrepreneur in a cover story about her lifestyle brand, the Jessica Simpson Collection. That was not the first time she got candid about sobriety. She spoke with Access Hollywood in 2020 about her autobiography, Open Book, and she revealed how sobriety has changed motherhood for her. Um, I mean, there are a lot of moments in my life that led to other moments. You know, um, I, the hardest part for me to write about, like, I, I'm, I'm a very protective person, so I definitely wanted to protect my family as much as I possibly could. Um, and, you know, I talk a lot about sexual abuse, mm -hmm. and um, I wanted to handle it in a way that was respectful, but also, you know, I mean, I have confronted my abuser, mm -hmm. and so, um, and I've forgiven her, and I never wanted there to be any, even though it's a dark subject, mm -hmm. I wanted people to see the light at, at the end of it and how I grew from it. So really talking about the sexual abuse was probably the hardest mm -hmm. for me because I was so young and I had so many different thoughts and feelings um, and then trying to go back to that little girl mm -hmm. and having a seven-year-old girl, <laughs> it, it made it very emotional for mm -hmm. me.